Hey there, everybody. Stay in school, or it seems you get grounded. So during this time, I'd like to uh, go ahead and make another tutorial. Um, I'm doing this one on keyboard shortcuts. Um, it's going to start out pretty basic, and then we're going to get more complex. So first one I'm going to show you is if you're in any application, notice the apple down here, okay? That means it's running. If I go and hit the X in this application, it's actually still running. We see Safari still running. If I want to quit that, my friend always goes up and hits Safari, quit Safari, but just use the keyboard shortcut, Command Q, and it quits. Now, if I don't want to quit it, but I just want to close that window, that's Command W. So Command W is just close the window. Command Q means quit. Okay, second one I'm going to show you is Command Spacebar. Let's say I've got a weird word, like I'm on Facebook or something, um, and I see a weird word, embellished. Embellished is the word I'll use. So all I need to do is highlight this word, hit Command C to copy it, Command Spacebar to open Spotlight, Command V to type it in, and then I see there's the dictionary. So I hit down one, enter, and up pops the dictionary, and here's the uh, definition of embellished. So just like that, very quick dictionary references. So the other one I'm going to show you is now we're using the control key. You've got four keys down here, command, option, control, and function. Um, using the control key, if you hold it and scroll, you can zoom in and out. This is not being done by ScreenFlow. I'm showing you what I'm seeing. Uh, it zooms in the screen and you can you can get pretty freaking far in there. A little zoom back out. All right, so that is control and scroll. And if you don't have a scroll ball, a scroll ball I believe the plus and minus keys work. I don't know. My friend uses the plus and minus keys, but he's got a different keyboard. Okay, so control scroll. Uh, next one I'm going to show you is actually one I've set that allows my computer to speak text. So I'm going to go over here to YouTube. Anywhere you can select text, it will speak it if you hit your set key. So my video is, editing usually requires ends. So that's what I selected, so it spoke that. Uh, my shortcut key is command enter, but you can set that to anything you want. The way you're going to do this is go to system preferences, and believe it or not, you're not going to keyboard, you're going to go to speech. After you've opened speech, check the checkbox under the text to speech tab that says speak selected text when the key is pressed. Check. Now set the key. A pop up window will pop down. It'll pop something. Anyways, it'll pop down and you'll hit that set key that you want. Whatever you, whatever you really want it to be. You can do a combination of all these keys, whatever. I just want command enter. So I'm going to hit cancel. What mine is already set to. Command return. Perfect. All right. And after you hit OK, you can close out and go test it out. Highlight something and hit your set key. Can help your org. Your org. And uh, it is as easy as that. So that is a key of your desire. All right. And the next one I'm going to do um, is Command Option Shift V. It's a pretty weird hand movement. And what this allows you to do is, I'm, I'm going to demonstrate with a couple emails here, tutorial ideas right there. So I'm going to demonstrate with a couple um, emails I got. I'll take this one from YouTube, for instance. So if I uh, highlight this text and copy it, Command C, and I go somewhere else, let's go to Text Edit. See, I just used that keyboard shortcut to open this application. And we set the text style to um, command T is text. Set this to headline A. So we'll start typing, and it's it's a weird. If I go and paste something right now, it pastes as the font that I pasted it in. If I want to paste that as the same font, I hit Command Option Shift Paste being V, and it pastes it in the exact same font. That's very helpful for online stuff if uh, you don't want to have to continuously reformat stuff. If you copy it, just paste it as Command Option Shift V, and it pastes it in the same font instead of like that. So that one's helpful. Command Option Shift V. Okay, quite the mouthful there. All right, and uh, the last one, or the last two I'm going to show you, I'm not going to demonstrate. I'm just going to tell you that they work. If you hit Control, Option, Command, Eject, it will shut down your computer. Control, Command, Eject, a.k.a. skipping the middle finger where Option would be. Eject, so uh, Control, Command, Eject, that reboots your computer. And Sleep, uh, Sleep is Command and Option, Eject.
that's sleep. All right, so um, I want to make sure that that's it. Oh, and Command Tab allows you to switch applications. Command Tab, um, you keep hitting Tab, hold down Command, and you can go into different apps. It doesn't actually pop up, but uh, up in the file menu it changes, which is useful for really doing anything. Trust me, it is. Um, if I want to make a new window in Safari, I go to Safari and hit Command N. I've got a new window, just like that, Command Q. You can practically operate a computer without a mouse. It's great. Um, so thank you for watching, and that is uh, my rendition of rendition. I wonder if that's even the right word. Rendition. Rendition. What's a rendition? A performance or interception? Okay, yeah, that is my rendition of uh, this tutorial. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, Command Shift 2.